was a new series on the way featuring music and art from last year's Essential Music Festival. The Loop begins right after the very latest news headlines with Gwyn Jones at ITN. Four directors of National Lottery Operator Camelot are threatening to resign rather than bow to government pressure to hand over their six-figure pay bonuses to charity. The Heritage Secretary had given the four until today to let him know whether they'd agreed to his request. Their final decision will be taken at a meeting of shareholders and board members this morning. The Irish Republic goes to the polls today as an upset looks increasingly likely in the country's general election. Support for Prime Minister John Bruton and his three-party coalition is down, but a hung parliament is a possibility, as Bertie Ahern and his Fianna Foyle Progressive Democrats coalition may not have enough support to gain a majority. A police officer is in intensive care after being rammed with his own patrol car in London. The incident in the Ladbroke Grove area happened after PC Gardiel Sidhu stopped a van to question the driver about his tax disc. The driver struggled with PC Sidhu before jumping into the patrol car, driving it straight at the officer and escaping. Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott has told Railtrack that its £346 million pre-tax profits do not represent a good deal for the taxpayer. He said he's looking at ways to force the company to spend more on investment and may give extra powers to the body which regulates the railways. That's all from the ITN News team. For now, we'll have more news for you there later. Join us then. Now, Carl Moses presents the first of a brand new series looking at arts and music recorded last year at the Essential Music Festival in Brighton. It's The Loop. marginalised, misrepresented or merely a question of cleavage. The debate about women and rock has been plodding on for as long as the Rolling Stones. Well, almost. But consider this. What are the Beatles have started out their career as the quarry women? The crucial question is, can you put the frock into rock and can women get on in the music business? Who oh, the little baby swastika on the rock? I have heard, I have heard, this is a shocking thing to say, but I've heard male musicians say, women can't play guitar. I felt that they were trying to make me into this Whitney Houston kind of thing, you know, with the silk dress and satin things and all that gear. I love all that gear, but it's really not me. It wasn't very high, it could be more than four years old. The actual business side of the music business is very male dominated, from, from the music media to the, to the record companies. That's a little baby swastika on the wall. Tonight, sus guitar noises from the brilliant skunk and Nancy and British soul champions, The Influence. You lucky people.